What's up, YouTube? This is Tian bringing you a new YouTube video in the Efficiency Series. Today, I want to talk about how I roll my strong boxes. It's a question I get a lot on stream. And so I'm going to show you how I roll my Diviner strong boxes right here. Um, so if you're in a league where it's possible for you to get Engineer's Orbs, we're currently in a league where we can do that. You want to use Engineering Orbs on it when it is of normal rarity, and each one will give it uh, five quality. And then I want to hit it with an Orb of Alchemy until I get uh, basically two out of five mods that I'm looking for. One of the mods is on here that I'm looking for, which is contains five additional items. Um, the other four that I'm looking for are contains additional um, cards that have currency, cards that have corrupted items, and cards that have um, unique items. Um, those, along with percent increased item quantity, are the, the five that I'm looking for. And if it has two out of those five, then I will keep it. Otherwise, otherwise, I will scour it and try again. So here we got one of them. Contains additional divination cards that give corrupt items. Not what we wanted. This has two of them. It has the quantity of contained items and then divination cards that give currency. So we're going to go ahead and hit this and try and kill it. And then I'll talk about um, other times when I roll my strong boxes. So go ahead and kill this, and you can see here it paid off. We got uh, a rare card in the queen, and then uh, a risk card as well, so that was pretty nice. So other times, we're going to... So I only ever keep Orbs of Alchemy on me when I'm running maps. Uh, Orbs of Alchemy I'll use when I have the strong box sextant, and there, when we have the sextant, you're actually trying to modify the boxes to have more monsters. So like Stream of Monsters is not the best one but uh, more magical monsters, more rare monsters. You wanna just alk and just hope to hit that. I actually play builds that wanna move really fast, so I don't generally um, spend the time to reroll boxes, but I'll keep a stack of alchemies on me. I'll just hit the strong box, hope to get one of those adds additional monsters, and then just, just hit the box and go. Similarly, um, I alk all of my arcanist strong boxes and my cartographer strong boxes. Sometimes I'll spend extra attention to the cartographer's strong boxes because those are the ones that have maps in it. And maybe I'll look for mods like uh, contains additional quality or items contained have additional quality. Basically gives you some free chisels on your maps as well as the uh, percent increased item quantity and contains additional number of items. Um, so that's it for this video on our efficiency series on how we roll our strong boxes. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will try and answer them. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.